So what's up you guys, it's RiceBoyQ and today I have another review. As you can see in the title, I got the Jordan White Cement 4s. So I caught these back on release day for a retail price of 295 Canadian. So yeah, I know it's pretty steep, but I had to get these shoes. So without any further ado, let's get into the review. So starting off with the box, we got the typical Jordan 4 box with the flight and Jumpman on the top. Then the box label. White cement 4, size 9, color is white, fire red, black tech gray. So if we open up the box, we see that there's black tissue paper, almost like a garbage bag. And here's the shoes, here's the left pair. So starting with the outsole, we have the gray, black and white outsole with the hits of red and the Nike Air on the bottom. Moving on to the midsole, we have a black, white, and gray midsole with black paint splatter across the gray part of the shoe, both on the lateral and medial side. And we have the air bubble on the heel. And actually the gray, the shade of gray they use for this 2016 pair is actually a lot darker than the 2012 pair. So this actually matches the OG colorway more than the 2012 pair. So moving on to the upper, mostly com comprised of white leather. It's actually very soft, very plush. A lot better quality than the 2012 pair for sure. And then we got the white mesh on the sides, both sides, and on the toe. And then we got the Jordan flight patch on the tongue. So on the right pair, we have the hang tag, the Jordan Jumpman. Kind of surprised it isn't the Nike Air one, since it's an OG pair. And then the back tab. Probably the highlight of the shoe, the Nike Air. Then moving on into the inner liner, we got a white inner liner, so you have to be careful with what kind of pants you wear, you don't want to get jean stains or denim stains because those are those are tough to remove. And then on the back of the tongue, Air Jordan. And another cool hit, Nike Air on the heel tab, or in the insole I mean. So a tip to keep the logo on the insole is just to put a, a piece of scotch tape over the logo. It should just prevent it from rubbing off. So a lot of people said that these would be an easy cop like the Maroon 6s. However, these actually sold out really quick. Uh, I remember Nike.com, I couldn't, I struck out, couldn't, couldn't get it, lost to all the bots. But I know some of them, some of the other sizes were still in stock later, but like I'm a size 9, so those sizes usually go out quick. Anyways, there's not much else to say about these sneakers other than that they're a classic pair of Jordans and it's definitely a must cop for 2016. With that said, I'll show you some more close-ups and then we'll get to the on-foot review.